Okay, so we're going to control the position of this movie. So what, what happened is I imported this uh, Goomba movie and uh, I right clicked, I went to a new solid and I'm changing the color to, to light blue. And the reason why I did this is because I couldn't see the Goomba's feet. And I, I, what I did is uh, when I originally created a new solid, uh, it was on top, I couldn't see the Goomba, so I dragged it down under so I could see it behind the Goomba. Now, of course, this could be any other nice picture that you have. Okay, so I see this is moving. How do we actually record the, um, uh, how do we actually change the position of this movie at the right time? So when I press the plus sign, it, 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 um, it um, uh, zooms in. If I press the minus sign, it zooms out. And I see right now my, my, uh, my video is uh, five seconds long. If you go to composition settings, it's the duration is five seconds long. So this, this is kind of hard to read. But the zero means uh, zero seconds. This is zero one means one second. Zero two means two seconds. Zero three means three seconds. And the co uh, the colon zero uh, zero f it represents just the uh, uh, the frame. So just look at the the first part to see what second you're on. Okay. So what we can do is uh, around here, around that one second, we're gonna make the the goomba kind of jump back. The idea is you control when you move things. So when you move the current time indicator here we can make uh, him move back imagine he gets struck by lightning and we want him to control him to move back so we're looking on this Goomba layer so click on it hit the drop down box and there's this thing called transform if you hit the drop down box again you can record the position by hitting the time the time uh, button here so you can record it you can stop recording it so you can hit these drop down boxes if you wish or you can just press the word uh, the letter, um, for example, P. If I type in P, it just jumps straight to position. That's another way of doing it. You can press the letter P and very quickly be able to record the position. So we record the position by hitting the stopwatch and you can see the current time indicator is, is here and you see the diamond there. It means you're recording the position. So over here, just, just uh, a little bit over, I'm going to actually uh, use the selection tool. Using the selection tool, you click on the Goomba. Oh, so we're actually on the movie and you move it over a bit you can see as I move it over you see a little faint blue line there let's scrub over to the right you're gonna move it a bit to the left now as you're moving things if you hold down shift it keeps it aligned in the same height just for interest and then I'm gonna move it a bit more and I'm just gonna move it a bit down you can see there's a nice pattern here it goes boing a little bit this way so now as I scroll back to the beginning and I press space you can see the the Goomba just got struck and it, it did a little uh, whoa what happened kind of uh, effect. So what we've done here is we've recorded the position.